Hello, welcome to today's training, which is all around the question of how do you know if you're building the right brand and the right business? I had a great question come in and I thought this would be the perfect time to walk you through a process that shows you uh, the idea identifier, which is something I created to support people like you who might be questioning, am I on the right track? Am I building the right business? Am I creating the right brand? Uh, Am I really happy in what I'm doing? Have I gone in a direction because I can and not because I should? Have I started to build a business (laughs) or work on an idea that I just want to check that it's the right idea before I start growing it. So if you're asking yourself any of these questions, the process I'm going to walk you through is a process you might have seen before. You'd be familiar with it if you've ever followed a process called Ikigai. And so I'm going to take you to my other screen in a moment, walk you through the process. And as I do, I want you to start building it out for yourself. This is a hands-on session where you can start to actually work on these things for yourself right now. So while we're together, you can start getting stuck straight in. So let's go across to my other screen. I'm going to just remove that from there. Okay. And we're going to go through a process called the idea identifier. So the first thing is to just really question Are you clear enough about what it is that you want to do and why you want to do it? If you're not clear about that, if you've set off in a direction because you could do something and it's not bringing you joy, it's maybe making you feel more overwhelmed or you're not really feeling it as much as you did when you first started, it might be because you've gone a little bit off track. And so I want to get you back on track today. And if you are just at the start of your process, then let's get you on track from the very beginning. Because ultimately, the brand identity that you build around the business that you're building around your identity as the change maker behind whatever it is that you are building, we want to make sure you stand out for that. Because if you don't stand out, then there's lots of people out in the world that are standing out for their specific gift and talent. And they're really busy and they're making money. And if you want to be making money, if you're looking at other people and thinking, how how is it that I'm more talented or more skilled, or I care more about this than those people there? And I'm watching them making money and making a much bigger impact than me. Well, I don't want that for you any more than you want that for yourself. So the key thing here is to really pick a lane and start being identified around the idea that you really want to be connected to. So rather than, for example, if you're a coaching company, being known for everything and anything and therefore not attracting anyone, what we want to do is have all of your products, all of your programs, your business, your branding, you as the ambassador of that brand. We want all of those things to be like one of these little arrows all heading in the same direction. So there's consistency there. And if you want to build trust around your business or you want to build more credibility and respect, you want to build more trust in you so that it removes any fear or question that somebody would have about buying from you, or maybe there's a limiting belief that they have where they haven't even had any contact with you, yet they've seen somebody else work with somebody else who's in the same kind of industry as you. And now they have a belief about that, or they have a fear around that. And that could be massively debilitating for your growth and success and your business. So we want to step you out of that sea of sameness and start getting you identified for that very thing that you were born to do, that you love to do, that you get paid to do, and that your clients need. And we're not talking about clients that you'd love to work with that might work with you. We're talking about, you know, pick a an idea, pick an industry, pick a niche of clients who already know that they need what you provide. You haven't got to talk them into it or train them into it or work them up to it. The kind of people that you really can help right now where 
you are a perfect match. Like you might be thinking to yourself, but I have a product or a program or a service that is not a necessary product program or service, or it's not something that's an essential. But I can promise you that what you have is essential to someone and it's essential to them right now in this moment. It's what they're looking for. It's what they need. They're prepared to invest in it. They want to buy it because they want the result. So remember, you're not selling your time. You're not even selling your service. What you're selling is the result that they want. It's not about you and it's not about your product program or service. It's about getting them the result that they want and throwing all of your attention into that. So in doing that, that's what helps you to be different because the way you deliver what you do is different. The way you train or teach or speak, the stories you have, the experience you've got is all very unique to you. It's your own unique footprint, your own unique identity. And so when you look at there being, you know, 50,000 or millions of people out there in the world that are saying they do the same thing as you, the one thing that is different about what you're doing is you. So we've got to take your expertise and your skills, your story, your wisdom, your fears, failures, fuck ups, all the things you've been through so that you can say to your dream client, hey, I know what you're going through because I felt that way too when I went through that as well. And what I found was, and now this is your opportunity to fill in that gap. So I've built my brand, my idea, and my identity around being the brand builder. And even now, my identity has shifted. I'm now the brand catalyst. And what you find is, as you start to build brands, so in fact, I'm still a brand builder. I love building brands. But The people that I serve are now brand builders. I'm the brand catalyst. I've built enough of my own brands and worked with over 70,000 people over the last 24 years, supporting them online, offline, through our social media channels, through our TV shows, through our interviews, through our podcasts, through our books. We've reached a lot of people with our work. And so I've now stepped up in my identity and you'll do the same thing but you've got to start somewhere. So start from where you are right now. And so what we're going to do is go through a process. As I said, it's called Ikigai. And I've adapted it to our own unique process. Now, one of our products, one of our programs is Ripple Makers. And I talk about you being that one drop that creates that ripple, that one drop that is known for that one product, that one program, or that one service, or that one idea that creates an enormous ripple of impact in the world. And you just get known for that one ripple of impact. And when you're really known for that one ripple of impact, then you can start another ripple of impact, and then another ripple of impact, because you're already renting a space in the heads, hearts, and minds of those people that you really want to serve. So we're going to go through this process now. I want you to grab a pen. Um, If you want to download the worksheet, do reach out to me. I've got the worksheet here. You can download that. And um, I'll make sure that actually I put it with this training so that if you uh, want to go download that first, you can. Uh, But if you haven't got that, then just grab a pen and paper or a pencil or a pad, a journal, whatever you want to do. And we're going to start walking through this process. So let's sense check that you've got the right idea or that you're going to create the right idea going forward. So the first place I want you to start is we're going to look at what do you love to do? Now, you don't need to do this right now. I'm just going to walk you through it and then we're going to do it together. So what do you love to do? When you wake up in the morning and you imagine doing only what you love (laughs) and it's something that brings you so much joy, you smile from the inside out. It's something that is your A game. You love doing it. You're productive when you do this. You are energized when you do this. You're focused when you do this. Time evaporates when you do this. Like you love doing it so much that you could easily get yourself lost in it. Like nothing else matters when you're doing this thing. You love to do it so much. The next piece is, What does the world need? Now, you might do this, first of all, and think, well, what does the world need? And you might also question, 
What does your dream client need? So if you already know, if you already have an idea about who your dream client is, and like I said at the beginning, there's somebody who needs you right now. You don't need to persuade them that they need this. They already know they need it. They're ready to buy. They're ready to get the, the result. They're ready to get the change or they're ready to invest in this thing to, for it to do what they need it to do. So it's something that is already needed. This is not something you have to persuade them into. This is something that's already needed. And then what can you get paid for? So what is it you love to do that the world needs that you can also get paid for? Now, that's a significant piece in making your decision around what you're going to build your business on, because you might absolutely love gardening, for example. What does the world need? Well, we need nature, <laughs> you know, if you want to connect those two things. But what can you get paid for doing that thing? And you might think, actually, I don't want to get paid for that. I love doing that. That's something I want to keep separate from my life. That's something that I want to finish work for and do because I love doing that so much. I don't want to get paid for that. Okay, well, let's just circle back then. What do you love to do that the world needs that you can get paid for? So you're going to brain dump a load of things around this so that we can then narrow it down by process of selection and deselection. And the final piece is, because we're building this as layers, what do you love to do that the world needs that you can get paid for that you're really good at? So what are you absolutely shit hot, amazeballs, fucking awesome at that you can get lost in that is something the world needs and that your customers need that you get paid to do and you're really good at it. And that's what we're looking for here. We're looking to overlap these things. Let's go even further into this to drive even kind of narrowing it down, narrowing it down, narrowing it down. Let's now think about all the things you love to do that the world needs that you can get paid for that you're really good at and you're also really passionate about. So what is it within that that you're most passionate about of all the things you're passionate about that are connected to this that we're we're narrowing down what are the two or three things that you're really super passionate about that you absolutely love that you maybe could talk about that you could maybe do blindfolded <laughs> you know everything that we're talking about here is the path of least resistance. These are things that bring you so much joy that you could pinch yourself and say, holy fuckadoodles, I'm actually building a business doing this, right? So what is it that you're passionate about doing? What do you believe your mission is that is connected to this? So how can you incorporate your mission and connect your mission to all of these things that you're starting to come up with? What expertise do you have? What's your experience? What's your wisdom? What can you bring forward out of all of these things going in this direction that is the perfect expertise that meets what you love to do, that meets what the world needs, what meets what your clients need, what meets what you can get paid for, what meets what you're really good at, what meets what you're passionate about, what meets your mission, and brings forth your gifts and talents in a way that you are just in complete flow. And then looking at what profession is it that you are in? You know, are you a coach or a mentor? Are you a trainer? Like what would be the best profession that you could step yourself into as a leader of this that would enable you to say, I am the coach behind. I am the speaker behind. I am the ambassador behind. I am the what, right? So you're going to fill in the gap with that. We're going to keep going. We're going to dive in even further. What out of all of the things that you could be doing would fulfill you the most? And when you're building a business, you're going to get dragged into, drawn into, sucked into, pulled into lots of different things that need to be done for the business to run. And there's some things you're not going to love doing and you're still going to need to do those. But what I want you to do is to focus now for this exercise on out of all the things you could be doing, what, what role, what job, what tasks would you be doing out of all of this that would give you the most fulfillment? Because yes, whilst you're doing everything yourself at the beginning, there's the opportunity to start outsourcing or bringing in team 
or actually looking at some of the things that you're you're getting sucked into and say, do you know what? That's not fulfilling me. I could be making so much more money focusing on the thing that I'm passionate about, that's in alignment with my mission, that the world needs, that I love to do, that I can get paid really good money for. I'm really good at it. I'm an expert at it. That's the thing I want to be doing. And if I can be doing that, then there's going to be someone else in the world that when they look at these tasks that are, that are not fulfilling me, they're going to feel the same way because it's their gift and their talent and it's what fulfills them. What is going to give you the most satisfaction? What is it that satisfies you? If you were to work with clients in this way, doing this, how could you make your greatest impact by bringing all of these things together? What impact would you love to make? Like, if you looked at your business doing all of these things, going in this direction, and in, say, three years, five years, or 10 years from now, you could look back and say, crikey, that's what I did. I got really clear about all these things, and I ended up building that business. That's the business that I'm thriving with. That's the business that's making money. That's the business that I enjoy. I built a business that I thoroughly loved that made an enormous impact. What impact, when you look back over all that time, how would you know that it's working? How would you know that you've made the impact that you were born to make? So there's a little bit of vision and mission in here in terms of your impact. And finally, the contribution you want to make, which will be connected to your impact. So if, for example, you you love to teach people things, the world needs that element of teaching or training people want to pay for that training because it's going to dramatically close the gap on what on their knowledge what they need to know and what they should know and you're really good at delivering that training now there'll be a certain type of training you're passionate about that's in alignment with your mission that really calls forth your expertise and allows you to step into that profession of being that trainer for example And there'll be certain elements of training that really fulfill you, that you feel totally satisfied with if you were to work on that all the time, that would make the impact that you want to make and would be in alignment with the contribution you want to make. And so therefore, what impact in three, five or 10 years from now would you like to have made? What contribution would you like to have made? Would you love to have made? Would you have been fulfilled and satisfied in making? And All of this, when you bring it all together, it narrows you down to the result. Okay, so therefore, this is the kind of business I should be building. (laughs) This is the kind of idea I should be working on. This is the first product that I should be making, should be this. Okay, so this is a process that will get you so clear on the idea that you're going to build your entire business on. And therefore, when you build your business around this, you're going to be fulfilled. The world's going to get what it needs. Your clients are going to get the results that they want. You're going to get paid because impact and income go hand in hand with one another. And the more impact you make, the more income you'll make. And the more income you make, the more impact you can make because it's a it's a beautiful uh, circle. It's a, a circle of life. It's something you're really good at. And so you constantly get those results all the time. So now I'm just going to walk you through an example of mine. So that as I'm doing this, you might want to borrow some of mine or it might trigger something for you that enables you to say, oh, yeah, well, I like that. But actually what I could do is this. So use what I'm about to show you as a springboard. So first of all, let's start with what do I love to do? And you could be doing yours as you go along here. So what do I love to do? What do you love to do? Well, I love writing. I love speaking. I love designing. I love creating tools like this that solve real world problems. And I love answering questions that people give me that actually exist. I don't want to be sat here thinking about what does the world need? What can I get paid for? I want to create things for people that actually have questions that they'd be prepared to pay me to have answered. So this tool I'm creating right now is being created as a result of a question that I've been asked by one of my members. So these are all the things that I love to do. Well, out of all those things I love to do, what does the world actually need? Well, People need step by step how to support. They want me to hold their hand as they're building their brand. They want that how to support. I want 
coaches and therapists to be visible and found because what the world needs, I believe very strongly, is the world needs healing. People need healing. People need to be trained in the knowledge gaps that they have. People need to be aware of what they could be doing, what they could have. But people need that healing. They need that health. They need that transformation that you provide. But if they can't freaking find you and you're not showing up for that, then they they can't get healed. They can't get the help that they want. So I believe the world really needs coaches and therapists to step up, stand out and be visible and found for the very gift and the very idea that matches and solves the problem of those problems that actually exist in the world. And I also believe that the world needs less learning and more get shit done. (laughs) I think too many people are investing in too many courses and programs that teach them what they should be doing, but don't give them enough how. And I think that just like you, you've got so much experience and so much knowledge, you've got so much learning already, that you actually don't need to know any more about what you need to do. I think you already know what you need to do. You need more how. You need to get out there and actually start doing it, using everything you've already got and get it out there. That's why all of my programs, they are all delivered live. They're all focused on using what you've already got in your head, turning the talents and gifts you already have into courses, programs, tools, worksheets, resources, cheat sheets, templates, training, speaking, books, all kinds of amazing intellectual property type products that enable you to make your impact whether you're there or not. So I believe you've already got that in your head. I want to extract that and turn it into stuff that can be making that impact instantly. So less learning and more doing. (laughs) That's what I believe the world needs. So out of all those things, as I start to narrow it down, what are people prepared to pay for? Well, they are prepared to pay me to speak to their networks and speak to their organizations about how to do this themselves. People will pay me to deliver training in this. They'll pay me to coach them, to mastermind with them, to publish books and resources and courses that help them to achieve those things that that they need and mentoring. So you'll probably have some of these things too. What am I really good at? I am really shit hot and mazeballs awesome at creating tools like this that make it very easy for somebody to go from not knowing it to knowing it and actually doing it instantly. (laughs) Like I want instant results. So I love creating resources. That's what I'm really good at. I'm really good at making visibility so much easier for you. Things that you've been fearful of, things that you've been procrastinating over, things that you've been putting off. Like my my amazing partner, Greg, both of us together, we are absolutely incredible at empowering and creating momentum around anything. Like that is what really lights us up as well, is to see you in momentum and complete flow, serving all the people that need what you provide, you getting paid from it and living a freaking life that you love as a result. That's a, that's like, that's not even a triple win. Because I mean, that's a win for us. It's a win for you. It's a win for the universe. But it's a win for every single life that is touched by what you do. And it's a win for every single life that is touched by them because that's ripple effect. That's impact. That's the kind of impact that we're going for. And if I can make your visibility easier so that more people can find you and do business with you and get the results that they want, then your ripple of impact is going to significantly add to my ripple of impact. And both of us now start to create an exponential swell of momentum that I believe is going to make a massive difference on the planet. So there's lots of things that connect this. Of course, that's connected to my mission as well. I love building communities. Oh my God. I love connecting really good people with more good people. I love People coming to me saying, Sammy, I don't have a list. I don't even know where to start in building my list. And for me to say, you don't need to worry about your list because there's already somebody that's got your list of your dream clients. So you don't need to build your list because someone's already got that list. What you need to do is sell what you provide to that person's list and let me connect you. Right. So that for me is really rewarding and fulfilling. So connecting people connecting the right people to the right mentors, the right, the right uh, providers, the right people that have the gifts and talents that you need 
to help you succeed and grow much faster and to make your impact for you to be an impact catalyst. That for me is like, that gives me the most joy. What am I passionate about? Oh gosh, I love the creative process. I love brainstorming. I love creative ideas. I love making it easier for people. Oh my God. Like when I see somebody, like I had a a lady that came to me who had spent an entire year creating her program and perfecting it to the point that by the time she was ready to launch the program, the entire course was irrelevant. People had moved on. They didn't need that anymore. So she took a whole year to get something out. Well, I'm I'm a real get shit done person. So, you know, I want to work with my clients and say, well, listen, like you've got content that's sat in your head that you can make a difference to someone with right now. I'm going to challenge you that over the next week using my process for creating an impactful income program over the next week, you could have your program created out there and changing lives and you making money on that program. So I love making it easier for people, like freaking a whole year doing that. That's a whole year of impact that she's lost. That's a whole year of income that she's lost. And maybe you want to create your own products and programs as well. Like I want to make it easy for you to do that. My expertise is in branding and growing businesses. I live, sleep, eat, talk, walk, connect. I I absolutely breathe for building brands. That's what I'm so in flow with. I love doing it. And there's a lot of people that don't know how to do that. So I'm matching my expertise with people that don't know how to do that, or they're they're not doing it well, or they've been doing it and it's not getting them the results they want. Well, usually with a little bit of a a, a Q&A session with that person, I can tell exactly why they're not getting the clients that they want or enough of the clients that they want to get. So for me, that's my expertise. You'll have your expertise. And finally, uh, my, the profession that I've chosen is to be a mentor because by being a mentor, I can step into every single one of these things in this Ikigai process and bring my best game, bring my A game to each and every client that I work with and each life that I touch, like I'm touching your life right now. Now, we're just going to go a little bit further, right? So what fulfills me? Live, live energy. That's what fulfills me. When I launched How to Build a Brand back in 2013, no, 2014, I I left my agency in 2013. And while I was working out what I was going to do next, I launched how to build a brand because it met all of these things here. I thought, you know what? Um, People need step by step guidance and support. They need to be found. They need to be visible. They want to get shit done. They just want to be told what to do so they can go and do it. Um, I can use all of my skills and support other people while I work out what I'm going to do. So that's when I launched how to build a brand in January 2014. So I started to create tools. I started to design things. I started to speak. I started to write content and blogs. I started creating resources. I started helping people to make their visibility easier. I started to build the How to Build a Brand community. I started connecting people. I started interviewing people. I started bringing challenges together where I was bringing experts from all different areas of brand building. I was bringing them onto the screen and saying, tell them how to do it. And it was just phenomenal. And we built so much energy around that. And I started then turning that into online courses and programs. I started to back away from delivering the live stuff and got everything online. And I wasn't happy. I wasn't fulfilled. I felt very isolated and disconnected from the community. And I really stopped enjoying it. Yeah, I had money coming in from the courses and programs, but it wasn't fulfilling me. And so for me, it's really important. You might not like the live energy environment. You might want to be that person that just creates resources and you never see another human being in your life. That might be who you are. Uh, But for me, I realized that I was not fulfilled with that business model. So whilst, yes, I do have that business model, I've got my subscriptions online, I've got my memberships online. I love to deliver the content live. I love the vibration, the frequency and the exchange of energy that comes from having people live on a process where I can see 
where they're struggling, I can jump in very quickly, I can adapt, I can transform, I can amend, I can tweak, I can ask questions of the people that are going through that live process, right? So for me, live stuff, live is everything for me. I I thrive when it's live. You might be completely the opposite to me, and that's okay, because you don't need to be me, and I don't need to be you. You need to be you. You need to build your business around the idea that you identify, that you say, holy fucker doodles, like I am living my best life and I'm making my impact and I'm completely on mission and I'm feeling like I'm waking up on purpose. I wake up vibrant. I wake up feeling like I'm really alive, like I'm I'm so in flow. I'm doing everything that I was born to do, that that I've learned to do, and all the shit that I've gone through shaped me and and created this very best version of me. And all the times that I thought I was buried, I was actually planted and I grew through that. And every time I grew, there was another aspect of me, another element of me, another facet of me that was being created and shaped into that that multifaceted diamond so that I could be doing this very thing that you're working on right now. So so live energy is where it's at for me. What is it for you? What, What makes you fulfilled or creates that fulfillment in you? What satisfies me is seeing results. I want to see results. I don't want people to just talk about it. I don't want people to go through a process with me and then say how great it was, but never do anything with it. So everything I do, and the reason I do it live is because I can see those results instantly. And just on that motion or that, that point there is that, you know, sometimes we can be, we can feel unconfident or we can go into fear because we don't know what we're doing or you don't know what that next step is. But what I found is when I have been doing things live, even when I've planned out the whole thing, if I'm doing something live and I sense that this isn't going the way I thought I wanted it to go, I can shift things very quickly. I can I can change things very quickly. And then my clients love it because I'm building things around them to make sure that it works for them. So I'm guaranteeing success when people follow my processes and everything we do at Impact Catalyst because when we when we provide that and that person matches our energy with the same level of commitment so we're committed to you you're committed to us there is going to be a result there can't not be a result so for me seeing results is the most fulfilling thing for me that's the thing that really satisfies me so what is it for you impact the impact I want to make is seeing other people making their impact. So I'm on a mission personally. This is away from, this is outside of the business. This is my own personal mission. Greg has his own personal mission. My own personal mission is to support 22,000 change makers to reach their next or first thousand ripples. Those first thousand clients, those first thousand lives. Because of course, once you've mastered the process to reach the first thousand, you just scale that. It's just exponential. You just, you know, you you attract your dream client, you nurture them into the, the process of supporting them to get the result that they want. They get the result they want. And you've learned so much in that process that you can now systemize most of it. And now it can be delivered even when you're not there. And so, so I really get a lot of fulfillment about that. I want to do that with 22,000 change makers just like you. And the thing that for me is the biggest contribution to the planet that I can make is to help healers heal and coaches to coach, speakers to speak, trainers to train. If I can be supporting them to get in front of more of their clients, then that makes my ripple effect and my ripple of impact absolutely exponential. When I look at all of this, I go, well, okay, so what is my dream business then? What should I be doing that enables me to do all of these things that I'm in so much joy with, that's making a difference, that's creating a ripple, making a wave, creating a freaking tsunami, if anything, because the results are exponential. The best thing for me was to create an online resource and a mastermind so that I can be constantly creating resources for my mastermind members 
and any people that go through my programs, they then have access, whether they're doing something live with me or they're watching a replay, they feel like it's live because I've recorded it live. So they feel like at least instead of doing like a flat kind of training, I'm doing a bit of a flat training with you right now doing this, but the courses and programs that I teach, they're all live so that you can thrive in the energy, you can learn from the questions that other people ask me, and in a, in a way, in the closest way that you can, feel like you are part of something greater as you're going through it. So for me, mastermind, and I freaking love masterminding with people. And I love the mastermind process because I can have a lot of people in the room and, and I'm bringing my A game and so is everybody else that's in there. And there'll be things that I don't even think of and somebody else says something and it sparks something and then I'll say something and then someone else will say something. And we really sculpt and shape things very quickly. So people that have come through our masterminding process that have taken years to get where they are very quickly because they're no longer doing it on their own are surrounded by an entire board of the most amazing uh, expertise and totally different walks of life and there's a lot of collaborations that happen through that as well so for me that's my dream business and that's why we've built what we've built now you need to work on yours and it might take you a little bit more time than we're spending here while you're going through this process with me so i'm going to leave this up on the screen for you for, I don't know, the next five minutes probably, so that you can go through this process, brain dump as much as possible. And if you've got any questions, reach out to us. You can put a comment below and ask your question. Just make sure that you use the at symbol and then follow that with my name. As you start typing my name, it will probably come up and tag me in. And um, and what I would say is also drop me a message on Facebook Messenger just to say, Sammy, I've, I've tagged you in a question that I've got. Or if you don't want to ask me a question underneath this, just send me just send me the direct question. Because remember, I love questions because it means I can create things that really make a difference to you. So I'm going to leave you to it now and I'll bring you back in five minutes.
Okay. So what I'm going to suggest is if you still want to continue working on this, that you pause this video and come back to it as often as you want to until you've really crisped your idea. You got your idea exactly as you want it to be. If you need help with your idea, then uh, comment below or drop me a message directly, uh, Sammy Blindell on Facebook. If you um, uh, go find me, you'll, you will find me. <laughs> um, but look for me personally and, um, and send me a message or reach out to me in this group, in this community. Reach out to me and I'll do whatever I can. You know, the thing is, if you've got a meaningful mission, if you've got a meaningful idea and it's something that you know you love to do, your clients need it, they want to pay you for it right now, you're really good at that thing, it's something that you're passionate about, it's in alignment with your mission, brings your most amazing expertise and experience into what you're doing, it's something that you can see yourself doing and building your business around. It fulfills you. You feel satisfied. It's making your impact and it's contributing to the world in a bigger way. And now you feel like you need to create your vision around that and your pitch and all of your brand messaging, then we have other programs that can help you with that next step. The, the next step in this process for our clients that go through this, once they've gone through the idea identifier, is to then go through Master Your Message, which is a seven-step process to apply the branding process to what they've created here. And then from that, they then go into the Impactful Income Blueprint, which is a, a process that then walks you through exactly how to create your products, programs, memberships, or subscriptions that enable you to create scalable income. So there's a whole process to this. And whilst you're at the, uh, the beginning stages here, walking through this here, if you feel like you're ready to go to the next step, then do please reach out to me and let me know. So I'm going to come back to here and just say I'm so pleased that I could be part of this process with you. And if you need help, please reach out. You are not alone. And I'll look forward to seeing or hearing from you to see what you came up with going through this process. So take care. And I'll look forward to seeing you in another trading very soon.